Recently, a former student of mine has returned because she has entered into the nursing program and taking a statistics class. So let's take a look at one of her homework questions to prepare her for her exam for next week. A lottery offers one 1,000 prize, one 500 prize, and five 100 prizes. 1,000 tickets are sold at $3 each, and we're asked to find the expectation if a person buys one ticket. So it's very important to read the question very carefully before we decide what we're going to do. And the basic premise of this is that we need to know what the outcomes are, the probabilities, and we're going to make a chart. So the outcomes are winning a thousand dollar ticket, winning a five hundred dollar ticket, winning a one hundred dollar ticket, and losing three dollars for buying it. Now if we were to win a thousand dollars, we would also have to subtract three dollars for buying the ticket. We have to subtract three dollars from five hundred, three dollars from a hundred, because that's the cost to buy a ticket. So make sure you understand why we're subtracting $3. It's because it took us, cost us $3 to actually buy the ticket to even have the chance of winning. Now the probability of winning a thousand dollar ticket is one out of 1,000 tickets. One out of a thousand chances of winning a thousand dollar ticket. To win a $500 ticket it's also one out of 1,000 tickets, because only 1,000 tickets are being sold. So that is your probability. To win a $100 ticket, you actually get, receive five out of 1,000. Five out of 1,000 chances. So the chances are a little bit higher. And to basically lose $3, meaning you purchased a ticket, it would be the total amount of tickets minus the five, six, and seven, seven chances of you winning those tickets over a thousand. So let's review this one. You have a thousand tickets, but there were seven chances to win the other tickets, the winning tickets, divided by a thousand. Um, just a note that this thousand has nothing to do with the thousand dollars. It has to do with the thousand tickets that are being sold. So let's go ahead and convert this. Typically in statistics, you're allowed to use a calculator. So you can go ahead and calculate that out. Okay. And now what we do is we're going to multiply the outcome to the possibilities. So we have 997 times 0 .001, this number times this, then 497 times 0 .001, 97 times 0 .005, and negative 3. Remember, this is you're losing $3 here times 0.993. Go ahead and use your calculator. You'll calculate this out as 0 0.997, 0 0.497, 0 0.485, and negative. This is very important to remember that you're going to, it's a negative 2.979. Then you take this and you're going to add them all. You're going to add all of these and then of course subtract by that and you will end up with negative 
$1.00. And that would be your expectation. Okay, be sure to review this video a few times just to familiarize yourself. And you can contact me if you have any questions.